So welcome back to Rock Solid Motorsports. Today we're going to do a test drive and a walk around inspection on this beautiful 1960 Austin Healey 3000. And this car comes to us a little bit older restoration that still presents very well. Paint shines very nicely, chrome's all in very good condition, mechanically very sound. Uh, restoration was done very period correct. Uh, the car is powered by a 2912 and it's the engine code is correct for a 1960 Austin Healey 3000. And the nice thing is it is the high compression 2912 CC inline six with the dual carburetor. It's got the nice uh, factory wire knockoff wheels, comes with the full uh, vinyl top with the side curtains and the uh, tunnel cover. So we'll grab the other camera and we'll take this beautiful Austin Healy for a test drive. Guys, little car, one little car, but actually not bad. So we're both hovering about six foot, um, two hundred plus pounds. Yeah, it's about two twenty-five for me. Fit pretty good. I mean, I I got the seat actually pulled up a little bit. My legs, I'm almost straight out. To put yeah, the actually for. In. The seat's sitting pretty flat on the floor. I mean, the passenger side, you got plenty of leg room. I can stretch oh, yeah. out. You know what? This, these cars are considered a two plus two, which yeah, and they're actually there's more leg room than I thought there would be in, in the, the back. back seat. Yeah, I'm sure it's still pretty tight. Oh, I can't. You, you got to be pretty short for that. <laughs> yeah. Heck, but yeah. But, but anyway, so now we're gonna take a test drive in that beautiful 1960 Austin Healey 3000. Yep. So. Turn the ignition on. Hold the push button down until it the car starts. That's my bad, not the cars. Yeah. So everything mechanically on this car feels very tight. Yeah, it actually it fires right up. I mean there are there you see dad didn't use the choke. I mean we didn't drive it up here, so it's a bit a little warmed up, but I mean, even when the car's cold, like it's been sitting in your garage overnight, I mean, you gotta maybe just barely pull the choke out. Yeah, I mean, I did I didn't today when we got the car out of the showroom, but I did not use the choke at all. But the clutch feels good, the transmission feels tight. Does it grind into any of the gears? And actually, the car's got an awesome sound. I was commenting on our way up here that, I mean, this is probably one of the best sounding Thank you. 
like Dad said, they actually seal a little better than I thought they would. Now, I wouldn't expect them to be watertight. No, and I think Austin I think Healy would even tell you that yeah, when they, they made this top and these side curtains, they were not engineered yeah. to be watertight. Right. But, you know, when you turn on the radio, car going around the roundabout right now, doing very well. With the radio, you can hear the radio fine. Yeah. that we're done with the test drive we'll do the walk around inspection and show you any uh, flaws that the car might have show you lights working so we'll start here on the driver's side and the paint throughout the car it's a very nice paint job very little orange peel the reflection is nice and nice and clear so starting with the windshield and the windshield frame, the, the windshield, the glass itself is in very good condition. Across the top though, there is a little bit of delamination, which the laminated windshield is new for these Mark I 3000s. And this being a second year, 1960. Um, so the driver's side front fender 
is in very good condition. Not seeing any stone chips or dents to speak of. And the factory wire wheels, all four of them are in very good condition, shine very nicely. The center caps might show just a little bit of age. They're wrapped in Nixon uh, steel belted radial tires. Across the driver's side of the hood, again, it's in very good condition. And all your stainless, the stainless trim above the fender on this fender is in excellent condition. No vents to speak of. The driver's side front mirror is in very good condition. There might be some slight age on the stem of the, of the mirror. Coming across the front of the car, I'm sure there's there is just just a couple very minor paint chips across the front of the car. Your front grill's in very good condition. Um, your headlight basket's in very good condition. Your factory turn signals. The front bumper's in very good condition. The chrome's very nice. Now it does have the added light bar, and it has a little bit of age to it. But as you can see, the, these very correct Lucas running lights with Lucas bulbs, which is pretty cool. Those are in very good condition. Across um, the hood scoop, you got this chrome piece. It's got two Meyer dings in the chrome there. Two or three? Oh, it's three. Maybe that's mounted. I don't know if that's what it's called. Okay. So. Both your turn signals up front, the lenses have a little bit of age to it, but both headlight baskets are in very good condition. There might be just a little bit of age there. And back to the front, we do have on both very edge corners, there's a little bit of a crack in the paint. And along the edge of the hood, there's such a minor paint touch-ups. And the passenger side mirrors, a lot like the driver's side, very comparable, very clean mirror, and then you got a little bit of age on the base. Scratch about yay long in the paint there. And that's, it's not through the paint, that one, like in the clear coat. Right here, we got a little it there and there's a little scratch here so I don't know if along the way the car picked up something off the road there's a scratch down here a little crack in the paint there as well I think that's, I think that's dirt um, we do have a couple very minor small cracks in the paint right at the base of the Antenna, passenger side of the windshields in very good condition. There again, well, we do have a little scratch, scratch there, a couple here and there. But coming to the passenger side door, it's in very good condition. A couple very minor stone chips. There's a couple down here on the rock or two. And there's a crack in the paint right there. Another little stone chip there and here. Two touch-ups right there. It is an older restoration, but it's been extremely well maintained. It does have some miles on it. So, and both side curtains, the aluminum frames in good condition shows a little bit of age both your plexiglass is intact and they both have a little bit of scratching in the plastic coming into the interior you'll see that it was completely redone in the restoration showing some very minor age but you get some age to the, the chrome and stainless to the inside, but fairly minor. You have added speakers in your door panels on both sides. 
door panels and, and scuff plate are nice and clean. Carpet has a little age to it, a little wear. Parcel racks in good condition. We have added radio, but they added a panel so they didn't cut into the factory dash, which is nice. So if you wanted to remove it, you could and put it back to stock or just keeps the radio. We do have some light kind of age spots in the pad for the dash but otherwise no heavy cracks or warpage. Just some minor wear throughout. This is an older restoration. The passenger seats in good condition. Actually, the padding is in very good condition. No splits in the vinyl. You do have some mild wear and age present, but really not bad. This is a little bit awesome really format. It is a the rear seats are in very good condition as well. Let's come back outside, you'll see the top. The, the vinyl top is in very good condition. I'm showing very little age. Uh, there is some, a couple, some light scratching in the glass, but if the back pla plastic window is in is very clear. So coming back to the passenger side quarter, we showed those touch-ups already. Did your stainless on the top of the fender is in very good condition. Your entire quarter is in very good condition. Coming across the deck lid, both your. Uh, Trunk hinges have a little bit of age to them, but they still shine nicely. It's still very presentable. Same with your handle for the trunk. It does have the correct Austin Healey 3000 emblems. Crack your rear taillight ones on the side. Your rear bumper shows just a little bit of age in the chrome, but it shines nicely. I don't believe we have any vents. Straight. Coming into your trunk, and of course we got both prop rods, front and rear, which is nice. And this is the the tunnel, which fits very well. You'll see it in the photo array. It does have a factory wire wheel spare. Trunk is nicely carpeted. This so trunklet is in very good condition. So coming across the dirt, okay, rather it be dirt. So the driver's side rear quarter, that's just a little itty bit of scuff. We do have a small scratch right here on top of the quarter. Couple little stone shapes. There's a couple paint touch ups on the leading edge of the door there, door opening, and up here. The driver's side of the top is comparable to the passenger yeah, side. Some, like red paint or something in the. Well, the top itself is in very good condition. Same with your side curtain, very comparable to the passenger side. The aluminum's in good condition. Um, there is some scratching of the plexiglass, but it is intact. The driver's door handle has got a little bit of age to it, a little chrome loss there. There's a couple of paint flaw there and a little chip there. I'm going to open this door and show you a couple chips down low. Oh, yeah. 
you'll see the driver's side of the interior is very comparable to the passenger side. But it, you had some little wear on your door panel, but really not bad. Again, added speakers. A little bit of age in this part of the vinyl. But again, your door jam and scuff plate in very good condition. Very solid car. Your driver's seat just showing a little bit of wear. Not bad, no splits in the vinyl. Padding's good. You might have some age checking in your piping a little bit, but not bad. Again, carpet's comparable to the passenger side, just some slight fading. Maybe when you come across the dash, Tyler, we can show them some of the buttons if you're not familiar with an Austin Healey. So this is your push start here. Your turn signals are here on the horn button, and you'll see the correct banjo steering wheel, which is cool. You do have some age in your horn button a little bit, and all of your gauge surrounds have some minor pitting and age present, but not bad. And then this is your overdrive switch, so which the overdrive and the test drive we talked about does work. So when you're in fourth gear, you flip that up and it basically gives you a fifth gear overdrive. And we got our ignition switch here. And then this switch here up in the up position is actually the added electric cooling fan in front of the radiator. And down is actually the added reverse light on the back of the car, which is nice. Of course, you see the aftermarket radio. And then you have your, you know, fresh air to heat and your heater control. And then uh, actually the heater was turned on, but you pull that to turn your, your blower motor on. And then this is your choke. This is your headlights. And then that's your turn or wipers. Rear carpet, again, cover rolls on the passenger side. Again, rear seats are in very good condition. And your top frame is actually in excellent condition. Folds just like it should. So, when opening these hoods on these 3000s, there is a hood light. There's a hood release inside the car, but there's also a secondary on both sides of the hood that you have to do at the same time. And there we see a very tidy engine bay, nice and clean, nicely detailed. And this is where you can tell an older restoration that's been very well maintained, the nice clean engine bay. We did not detail or have to detail this engine compartment, but you got the high compression 2912 CC inline six with the dual side drive carburetors. I'll go ahead and fire it up and we'll show you some lights working. It's been upgraded with a Protronix flamethrower distributor. And the pusher fan, watch your pusher fan up front, which is always nice. There's your headlights and running lights, brights, fog lights, driver side turn signal. Passenger side turn signal. Also has a great sound. So there's your running lights, brake lights, driver side turn signal, passenger side turn signal. And reverse it. All your lights work just as they should. So if you're in the market for a British sports car or just a classic that you don't see very often, that's turnkey, ready to enjoy, you definitely want to take a close look at this very well preserved 1960 Austin Healey 3000 Rock Solid Motorsports.